Hello everyone, Vescom here. So I've been given access to Killing Floor Incursion prior to its release and it is obviously a VR um, possibly co-op or solo horror shooter and I can't make a review for it right now, right now or well I can't publish a review for it right now because those are still under embargo but I can make this type of a preview video with certain limitations to what I'm allowed to show you I can't um, show you footage past a certain point in the game but I'm just going to be showing you the first like mission um, there are like the intro section and the training section before this. I've played further than this in the game, so I know what's going to be happening and things like that. I just wanted to show you what the actual like release version of the game is going to look like, how it plays, things like that. I, I hope you find this useful. I don't usually make this type of let's let's play videos or things. I'm more interested in like reviewing the games, but since there is so little footage about this game out there, I figured this would be a good thing to have out there since I'm allowed to make this kind of a video. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm not going to be talking a whole lot, but yeah, let's just go in. So this is actually a loading screen, really, really fast loading screen. And then here you pick up your loadout and you have like different holsters you can use these are for grenades down here there's a flashlight yeah um yeah and this actually is surprisingly long loading time in that that area but usually it goes a lot faster okay here we go uh wait this isn't right this isn't the simulation I loaded. What it is, you're supposed to be here, just it should be in better shape, and on a sunny day. And the staging room shouldn't have a gun in it. The parameters for this simulation are set for, let's just say, extra creepy. Never mind. Head down the road and across the bridge. Alright, this is actually an area I haven't so, been to before. To be I think we accidentally got a new build or something. Bloody developers. Just be careful, Lieutenant. We don't want you falling off the world or something silly. Alright, that's actually a knife. Let's put that in my back holster. None of this is supposed to be here. There's not supposed to be a hobo hangout thing on this level. That's probably Colin messing with me. He's always putting bloody hobos in every sim. Space hobos, zombie hobos, vampire hobos. It's like he's 12 or something. Hang on, there's a knife and a grenade down here. Weird. Grab them, they may come in handy. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. Find. Use the grenade by holding it with one hand, grabbing the pin with the other, pulling the pin and throwing the grenade. Just be careful not to blow yourself up. You can store the grenade in the hole. Alright, so that area down there was actually somewhere I didn't go on my initial playthrough, so that was uh, interesting. Just noticed it right now, but well, I suppose I saw it from here, but I just didn't realize that you can go there. Uh, but as you can see, this is a very, very dark level, and you, you can't see very far even with the flashlight. And that obviously gives this a very uh, creepy atmosphere. Now, the graphic settings I have are, they are on like the lower settings. And even though I'm recording, the game really actually like runs really smoothly. So that's, that's really nice. See if you can get that gate open. I've set up a hacking tool to help you get through the lock. Alrighty. So, this is how you open the doors. Okay, fantastic. Head inside. Wait, what? A bunch of combat programs just came online. Oh, for goodness sake. Looks like you hit the combat early. Sorry, Lieutenant. There's a knife and some ammo in the middle of the trailer park. Grab them and take out the Zeds. Alright, so let's, let's go with the throwing knives for now. So 
so you can like okay that was a really bad throw there we go and let's go with some melee here maybe cut off an arm Ooh. Can I smack these? Oh yeah. Very nice. So yeah, this is this, this looks really really nasty, actually. Like, especially in VR. Oof. Just get rid of that. Okay. So there's the generator. I need to find some fuel for it. Uh, I can actually call that little helper and that will guide me to the fuel I think or maybe it just gets stuck over here interesting okay there we go now it's moving right there's the canister this actually like spawns in different locations in this area so it wasn't there on my first uh, playthrough so that's pretty nice that there's at least some some kind of replayability with these things that uh, they spawn in different places it's nice okay so fuel that up and let's turn it on You'll have to keep them busy while the gate opens. Alright, time for some shooting. The shooting is actually really like satisfying, very accurate, and it's really, really feels good. Alright, there's a different kind of an enemy. Smack this with the pistol. There we go. Okay, let's uh, actually do this now. So we can grab like this hands and whatever and they can be used as weapons I mean this isn't exactly very uh, effective but it's still possible to kill them with this which is kind of nice I suppose in case you don't like have your actual pistols or uh, knives or weapons so that's a thing but uh, I don't know not exactly the most effective thing I suppose but Okay, not one of those spider things. They are very weak, but they are also kind of creepy. Thanks to the virus, this simulation is going to crash soon and take you with it if we don't get you out of here. We must get you to the extraction portal, but I need you to get some data on the way out. Don't worry, it will require a lot of shooting and stabbing. Nothing too difficult. Your 
So much. If you die in here, your body will suffer feedback through your neural connection. It won't kill you the first time, but just don't die too much, or at all. I'm sorry I loaded you up into this situation. I'll see if I can do anything to get the safety protocols back up on my end. In the meantime, keep moving. The extraction point is down that dark and creepy side road, because of course it is. Yes, of course it is. Where else could it be? All right, well, let's just use the uh, knives for a bit. There we go, a nice throw. Oh, I didn't want to take the uh, grenade. There's another pistol, actually. I'll just uh, use these for now. Some code in that house has gotten corrupted. We need to clean it out. Otherwise, this place is going to crash sooner rather than later. Oh, hang on a sec. Great. More Zeds coming your way. These are really, really nice looking guns. So where are the enemies? Well, as you can see, there are like really close spawning enemies which is well it is just how it is the enemies can spawn right next to you which is a bit weird but right smart work lieutenant see about hacking the lock on that door right let's uh take some health is that an ammo pack over here yeah it looks like it is So the um, teleport works so that this this ring here needs to fill. It shows how far you can teleport. If you're moving, it doesn't fill. If you're standing still, it gets filled. So um, that's how that works. Great work. Your training already paid off. We need to find the corrupted code fragments in this house. They're doing serious damage to simulation stability. The scanner on your flashlight should do the trick. Search around the house and look for anything out of the ordinary. I'll open a deletion portal. Just place the corrupted code into the portal to destroy it. So, these are the corrupted code. Take that code segment back to the deletion Slap it there. Once you do, keep looking inside the house for the rest of the corrupted code. <laughs>
Alright, another grenade there. Let's put it there. There's one fragment. There's also some enemies around. There we go. One fragment. Oops. There we go. Oh, is there another fragment? Oh, that's just the arrow. Wasted ammo, I think. But... Oh well, should be okay. So... Let's just grab this other piece of the same go. Peace now. So there it is. All right. code pieces should be random shapes, not... What was that? Gas mask? Was that Foss? Couldn't be. He's... This is getting weirder and weirder. This is not going to go over well with the boss. You're not done yet. There are more Zeds on the way. Alright, let's just go in this room here. It's a pretty nice spot to fight them off, I think. DNA data, the virus could leak it to the outside world. And then heaven only knows who would put it to use. Follow Node. He'll take you to the right place. Good luck, Lieutenant. I know you didn't sign up for this, but I appreciate your efforts. Okay, feeding time's over. Get moving, Lieutenant. Alrighty then. There's some ammo. Let's sure we have fully reloaded guns and then we can go and fight the boss. The Z DNA data is in this field somewhere, Lieutenant. You may need to shoot a few Zs to unlock it. 
So this here is going to be the boss fight. Actually, does it? You continue to impress, Lieutenant. Those great soil are used in veteran simulations, and you put them down hard. Good work. Glad I ended up with somebody who knows what they're doing in all this. Grab the data and enter the extraction portal when it appears. All right. So then I just grab this, and that is actually the end of the level. So I hope you. Uh, enjoyed this video and found it useful. I'm going to be making a full review once the embargo lifts, so watch out for that if you want to see that. And yeah, thank you for watching and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.